Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So I've just received a delivery, something I've been waiting for for a few days. And if it works, it could prove very useful. Right, so I've had a lot of you guys ask me what's going on with the John Deere and the computer in the cab. I put up a photo on Instagram a few days ago saying that the computer was not working. It seems to be working now, and that's the annoying thing. The fault seems to be intermittent. Now, that could really, really let me down in the spring. That's the thing with these modern tractors. A lot of the controls are on the computer, on the touchpad, and if it doesn't work, you can't do much. I can't alter the flow rate on the on the drill. Loads of different bits and pieces you can't do it if the computer lets you down. Auto steer, function goes. I'm not fussed about that. I'm quite old school. You know, we've got the old Fords and stuff. I'm happy to drive a tractor up and down all day and steer it myself. I'm not lazy. But uh, lots of different features. Um, a, a lot of important things you just can't do when the computer stops working. It's working now. As you can see, and you know, the touchpad is working but that could really, really let us down in the spring. It's basically throwing an error code every now and then saying it can't communicate with the processor. Now we had the processor replaced about this time last year. And it was a big job, an expensive job as well. And to think that only a year later, we've got an issue again. Um, we've actually got John Deere coming out tomorrow to have a look. Now, if they put a new processor in, which costs us more money again, is it gonna, help or are we going to have this intermittent fault all the time it's really not good get on really really well with this tractor but i tell you what that the electronics the technology it can let you down i just hope it's a simple fix let someone who knows the uh, the tractors come and have a look uh, like i said someone's coming up tomorrow to have a look but i'm just giving you guys a bit of an update on the computer i was in a bit of a bad mood when i found out it wasn't working the other day i put up a picture online and i was like now bugger this modern stuff let's just get a load more tms new holland tms which would be good but ultimately we've got this tractor here we just need to make sure that it's working right and it isn't going to let us down so yeah we'll just have to see um how it goes but obviously with the spring work coming up it um it's quite important that this tractor you know works all right but if you take the hydraulics for instance one two three four your spools which are here you've got to electronically adjust the flow rate so the fan on the drill as an example if the touchpad isn't working i can't you know put the flow rate up to get the air running on the drill so i can't use the drill and you know do the job so yeah you are relying on technology for what should be you know a simple job and i think that's where these modern tractors really fall back on i think you know someone said and i think they're definitely right that there's going to be a lot of cool moving forward for you know more mechanically based tractors on farms so yeah as far as i'm concerned you know i love the technology when it works but when it doesn't it really can you know put you about <laughs> it's working fine now but you know i could come to it tomorrow and it doesn't but um anyway yeah that's uh, that's my rant over for now but um yeah i uh, <laughs> hope we can get it sorted Right, so I've been thinking for a while about getting a camera for the lambing shed. That way, you know, I can see what's going on from home or from wherever I am. You know, I can check on my phone, see what's going on in the lambing shed. Saves me having to, you know, go up there all the time, especially at night time when we start lambing. It's going to be very, very handy to have a camera set up that I can check on my phone, um, you know, from the comfort of home or like I say, wherever I am. Now, I've been researching cameras on and off for the last few weeks and there's lots of options out there. Some really cheap and some very expensive. Now, obviously, you don't want to get anything too cheap because it's probably not going to work very well and I also didn't want to spend too much either but I came across a company I don't know if you guys have heard of it called Farmstream now their website looked pretty promising the reviews were good and the price wasn't bad either this is a 4g camera so this works off a sim card it has a sim card in there it picks up a 4g signal and then it connects to an app that you can get on your phone so obviously it relies on a 4g signal now here on the farm the signal isn't great everywhere but there are a few spots on the farm where we do pick up a fairly decent 4g signal the lambing shed happens to be one of those spots i'm hoping uh, the camera will pick up a signal and uh, it will work okay so yeah ordered this a few days ago it didn't take long to get here so i'm quite looking forward to getting this out of the box setting it up seeing if we can uh, get it working that's a little cable 
and here is the camera. Well, it looks uh, fairly well made. This cable here, this is an extension cable I bought. I didn't know where I was going to plug this in, so I thought an extension cable wouldn't hurt. And we've got uh, the antennas as well. So they're uh, used to pick up the signal. Looks fairly straightforward. Looks like they just screw on the back there and then I'm sure they bend round, that's it, so they can stick up like that and you can move them, I guess, to pick up the best signal. And that's the power adapter. That's good. It is a UK plug. <laughs> on the front, it's got a European one. So yeah, that's good. Got all the bits there. Farmstream, thank you for your purchase. Please visit our website for setup instructions. Farmstream, farming efficiency. What are these? Oh, screws. That'd be screws to mount it. So I'm guessing there's, yep, there's some holes, three holes there to mount the camera. And yeah, it's on a ball, a bit like a, a ram mount. So I'll be able to adjust that, get the right angle. And a gift gaff SIM card, five pounds credit. That's all right, at least I can get it set up and uh, try it anyway before I uh, spend loads of money topping up. <laughs> I'm gonna check it works first. All right, I've just loaded up their website. Please select your product. So it's that one. And it's the 4G type. Instruction manual download. Here we go. Carefully attach the two antennas. Right, let's do that first. Okay, they're on. Inserting SIM and SD card. SD card, that'd be good. So obviously I can record bits of footage as well and save them. So I need a small Allen key to open up that so I can get the SIM card in. Okay, I see. GIF gaff. I think that's on the O2 network, which is what my phone is on, so should pick up the 4G okay, hopefully. Alright, just gotta make sure I put it in the right way. Right, it's in. Right, it says I've got to download the GIF gaff app and activate the SIM, so I'll do that now. So I've activated the SIM. Step four, power on your new camera. Right, I'll go plug it in, in the shed, I think. I'm assuming that goes in there, like that. Turn it on. Well, I think it's on. <laughs> yeah, I think those other cables on there were to connect it to a battery, which could be quite handy if you want to put it in a more remote location. I'm not sure where I'm going to mount it yet, but somewhere in here, I'll put it up. But obviously our socket is just here, so I'll figure that out in a bit. Step five, connecting your new camera to your phone. On your phone, Download the app Cam Hit Pro, Cam Hype Pro. Once the app is downloaded, open it up. Okay. Right, add camera. Ah, you've got to scan a code on the camera. Scanned. That was quick. Right, added successfully. That's good. Right, name. Let's call it Lamb Cam. Lamb Cam. Well, it's connected. I can see myself on it. I've got it on full screen now. I'll tell you what. The quality is quite good. Well, at least we're connected. All right, so I've got to find a place to mount it. Right, wherever I do put it, it's only going to be temporary, you know, while we're lambing. But we'll probably make use of the camera elsewhere after lambing time. Seems a shame to only use it, you know, for a few weeks. So I'll take the ears off just to get it um, mounted, you know, the antennas. So we'll get it mounted and then uh, put them back on. Try it. Get these back on. Well, it's working. That's really good. A little bit of a lag, but it's not too bad. No, it's really good. Tell you what, that's gonna be ever so useful. So as you can see, I've mounted the camera there, at the top of a sleeper that's sticking up on this wall here, um, screwed that in, and uh, yeah, it's picking up a good angle across the shed. It's plugged into an extension lead just for now. Um, it's obviously not gonna stop there, like I said. It's just gonna be, you know, temporary while, uh, while I'm lambing, but um, no, seems to work well, I'm pleased with it. It'll be interesting to see how it works at night time. Apparently it's quite good at night, um, picks everything up, so I might try it a bit later on when it's dark, see how it works. But all in all, easy to set up, and it was fairly cheap as well, it was, I think it was 139.99, something like that. So about 140 for the camera and an extra few quid for the uh, the extension cable, which to be honest is a bargain. If it's going to work, if it's going to do a good job, then yeah, I think that's uh, that's really good. I'm pleased with that. Right, girls, I can keep my eye on you now. <laughs> Love a good sheep pun. Dad's got his plane going. 
I don't think he's going flying, I think he's just uh, running it up. I wondered what the noise was. There ain't no fancy computer in this tractor. I'm absolutely in love with this tractor and I can't wait for the spring. I can finally uh, get it in the field, get it working. Right, so it's dark outside now. So I'm going to try the camera from the house, see if it works all right. Right, we'll give it a go. This thing is supposed to have night vision, so I'm hoping it works all right. You come for cuddles, bear. There we go. I can see them. <laughs> That's pretty good. I can even zoom in. Ah, oh, dead chuff with that. That's really good. So I can check the sheep from the comfort of the house. Perfect. Right, I'm going to go now, guys, because Boris is about to speak on the telly. So don't want to miss that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Take it easy. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.